some sort of workout. <laughs> One of the things that most content creators or photographers, videographers, or even your friends don't actually talk about, that is storage management. Let's go. But first, I have to get sorted. What's up guys, it's Magic, and today we are gonna talk about how storage management or how file management is important or is essential when you're a content creator. If you remember the time you bought your first camera, first lens, and after you purchase it, they're not gonna tell you now, hey, you have to buy an external hard drive. You do have internal memory on your phone or on your tablet, on your PC or on your Mac. Why is it important to have an external hard drive or portable hard drive? Well, one, it's easier when you're on the go. You can bring your files with you anywhere and that is you know that's the best when you're doing uh, shoots off-site it's important that you have that physical hard drive with you every time I go into a shoot or every time I'm on location even when I step out of the house for a meeting I always have one external hard drive with me you never know when you need the space of course you have high capacity memory cards like 128 gig or ngayon one terabyte Paano pag napuno yun? where do you put your files the hard drives that you saw on my desk that I was carrying a while ago those are filled with files ever since 2007. I've sorted them properly, I've categorized them. I have a workflow para mas maayo Before going to that workflow, you should know that there are different kinds of hard drives. Solid state drive, there's portable hard drives. Back in the days, naalala nyo pa, nagbo-burn kayo sa CD or sa DVD ng files nyo. I've transferred my files from CDs and DVDs to now hard drives kasi mas efficient siya and it'll last longer, yung durability niya. Don't be confused. Pag sinabing hard drive or hard disk, yan yung may running parts inside. They tend to fail. Mabagsak mo lang siya, gone. I invested on these SSDs or what they call solid state drives. Para silang flash drive. There are no movable parts. It's durable. It's faster than hard disk drives. But it comes with a price. SSDs, they're more expensive than HDDs. There are a lot of storage options. May internal memory, external memory, and there's the cloud. Internal memory, that is what's included when you buy a laptop or a computer. 256 gig, 512 gig, to one terabyte, two terabyte, and so on. What's good about internal storage is that you transfer your files to your computer, it's there. It's on your desktop. You can work with it right away. When it comes to external hard drives or external memory, yen yung expandable memory kung baga sa phone. When you have an external hard drive and you want to bring your files with you, you have a physical drive with you. From your desktop, you can copy it to your external hard drive and then you can bring it. Lastly is the cloud. I do have a cloud storage, but it's always dependent sa internet speed. And sometimes when you travel and you want to access your files or your photos or your special videos if it's heavy, if you don't have enough speed, you won't be able to download it or to access it. For me, the best is having an external hard drive. Okay. Okay, let's go down to my file management workflow. You know, it's a practice and medyo nakasanayan ko na siya. You have to start early. I'm, I'm gonna walk you through from a shoot up until I export the photos. Let's jump to it. I'm gonna show you how I do my file management workflow in right about now. So, you know, you plug in your memory card and then you just copy the folder or you know, if I have multiple folders there, I just copy it in here. I'm gonna rename that. I start with the year, then the month, the date. And then I put a title, let's say Japan. Japan trip before copying everything else to an external hard drive. I segregate everything per camera. So this is say X-T3. When I'm shooting concerts or when I'm shooting events, I always carry two cameras, but sometimes I carry three. And then I also shot with the X-T2. Maybe I have files with my X100F, a GoPro. I always make folders according to the camera that I use. Para hindi ako malito. Kunare, I'm using the X-T3. It's a zoom lens lang that's attached. When I'm using the X-T2, it's a wide angle lens. I always put a folder in each camera so I know where to look for the right file. Even if I shoot on same days and there are different events happening on the same day, I always segregate it in different folders. After labeling, I will copy them into my external hard drive. See here, it's photos, PP, meaning post-processed. I don't know, I've been using that term ever since. So after transferring the folders on my desktop, labeling them properly, I then go to my external hard drive. Now, since this is 2020, just drag it over here. Here's an example of how I segregate my files. Everything is labeled according to year, 
month and day, and then the event name or the project name. The files that I work on are on my desktop. I don't work with the ones in my hard drive. Why? The working files on your desktop is more efficient and faster. And then my external hard drive serves as a backup if and when I want to work on my laptop. At least I can bring it and continue editing there from my desktop. I just open Lightroom here. And then I always create a new catalog. Let's say it's under YouTube. And then I start importing my photos. Okay. So you just drag that folder onto your Lightroom and then import. And then say, I'm just gonna start editing. Okay, let's say this one. Edit gonna show, apply my filter. There you go. Fix the cropping, this and that. And I'm ready to export. Let's click on export here. And size to fit 25 long edge. So it's low rest. Go on the desktop, create a new folder. Click here, say PV. Okay that open and then it's gonna be exported I already have on my desk raw files or JPEGs and my edits I copied the folder with the edits go to my external hard drive go to my post-processed folder new folder of what I edited desk and copy the image there you go copy the files from my camera to the desktop label them, fix the dates, fix the event name, copy them to an external hard drive, and then work on the photos that are on my desktop. I mean, for me, that's more efficient. Wow, it's super hot. That is just a glimpse on my workflow on how I manage my files and my different storages. Take it from me, start now, and it'll be easier for you down the road. Please, please start now. <laughs> and because storage is important to me, I We'll be giving away one Seagate Backup Plus Ultra Touch portable hard drive, which is one terabyte capacity. Just subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Also leave a comment down below telling me why you're in need of a hard drive. I will be announcing the giveaway winner on next week's video. So you have to stay tuned. That said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next. Peace.